smart meters that monitor your energy usage and then report it back to the electric company have been controversial since they first came out. Some people have privacy concerns, other folks have health concerns, and now one Butler County man has yet another worry. Mike Derrickson has no complaints about the new smart meter on the side of his house, saying you can't fight technology. This is a new smart meter they put on this. But he recently worried he had a ghost inside his house when his touch lamps started turning on and off on their own. At night, it would come on by itself. We shut it off, it'd come back on. Sure enough, as we stood there talking, watch what happens. Yes, it started uh, doing it, and there it come on. What just happened? The lamp come on, all by itself. Derrickson thought the lamp was defective, so he threw it away and paid $40 for a new one. But that one turned on by itself, too. So he called the utility company and learned the radio frequencies used in smart meters can interfere with touch lamps, which also use RF. So we contacted Duke Energy as well. A utility spokeswoman tells us we're aware of customers experiencing difficulties with touch lamps. We were able to determine the issue is not with the digital meters themselves, rather the communication nodes, which are located on a pole nearby. She says touch lamp owners can call about getting a simple plug-in filter, which Derrickson has done. So this is the filter? That's the, the filter. filter. That's the filter. So far it seems to work, and for now it's banished the ghosts in his bedroom. Now, while some critics claim that smart meters could be a health concern, power companies, including Duke, cite studies that find no health issues. They say the signal they give off is no worse than your cell phone or the wireless Internet that most of us already have in our homes.